Hi, I'm here at the IO Magazine Global Forum 2019 in Paris, and I'm with Manuel Taverne, Director of Investor Relations at FACC. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. For, thank you. Hi. Absolutely. And uh, you've just been speaking on a panel which covered a lot of different areas, but one of those areas was targeting and you know how to make the most of targeting. Can you tell us a bit about what your experience is, you know, as an aerospace company, but based in Austria, you know, from a targeting perspective? Yeah, from a targeting perspective, I mean, it's, uh, it's quite unique because Austria is, a, as an aerospace company in Austria, we have no own industry. Uh, the challenge is, the, my job is how can we find investors, how can we uh, attract investors, who are the brokers, uh, bringing us the best ideas, bring us the best companies in terms of uh, investment companies. And this is the job I did, uh, I did the last years, yeah, to, 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 to build a brand about F around FACC as an aerospace company focusing on one uh, material that is composites, yeah? This is the challenge. Sure, and, and, and as part of that process, I mean, you will be doing like conferences and roadshows, but you mentioned that's an area that you've been thinking about recently and making some changes. Can you talk to us a bit about that? The changes is, uh, when I joined the company four and a half years before, I, I, I joined after the IPO, yeah? and the, the, the importance is always, uh, being listed is a big mind step change in the company, in the DNA of a company, because being publicly held or being being listed uh, is a different reporting, it's a different uh, also aspect of uh, what is your strategy, and all these things we have first uh, established internally before you go on the market and uh, uh, inform or, or, or looking for investor base. Yeah? First prepare yourself internally and then go out to the market. Yeah. Okay, so you've taken those steps, and but when you're making decisions about how to spend your time, you know whether to go to conferences, whether to go on non-deal roadshows, how do you weigh up those sort of decisions? The first is the broker. Uh, who is the broker uh, for 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 for, local, for for certain market? We have brokers for the US markets. We have the ones for for for, for Asian markets too. Uh, right now, we have one for the European markets. Uh, can they bring us the right investor base? What is our investment style? What is the investment style of the investment funds? Um, the targeting is very important, and I think that especially the last two years, the the, the strategy and also the the, the, the the collaboration with brokers changed uh, in regard of MIFID two. Mm. Right? And yeah, that was something I was going to ask about. So you talked about MIFID two a bit on your panel, and a lot of investor relations officers have told us that it's made their life a bit more difficult, you know, in certain ways. But but what's your experience been of, you know, um, sort of working with brokers since the introduction of MIFID two? I think MIFID 2 is, a, is, is it's, for some it's a, a win-lose situation, I see it as a win-win situation because when we, when we, when we first approached the, 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 the new relation, everyone was concerned about uh, lower research, lower uh, corporate access and my experience is we have to handle uh, these challenges yeah? and, and uh, I changed a little bit my, my, my working with brokers. We have five to six uh, brokers now doing a research note about FACC. But as it always, um, I do not need 15 research notes. It's, it's, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. Yeah? Mm. What are they thinking about the, the, the investment that they in, the, in FACC? And we now work with 15 uh, brokers together. Five of them are publishing notes. Uh, and the other 10 are just supporting me on certain local markets like US, like Asia. Mm. And the second is, uh, it's not about always the quality or the quantity of a meeting. It's the quality, yeah. And today, someone is paying for the meeting. It's either me, uh, or it's it's the it's the it's the fund, yeah. And so we both expect the quality. We both expect a, a good outcome. And the second is um, the number. What, what changed also is the number of conferences. Uh, today, I'm focusing more on conferences because on a conference, you normally in a in a closed area, uh, you have your table, you have your chair, and 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 and, and the investors coming to you. And so we have more meetings on the conference uh, side than on the, on the roadshow side. And this also is an issue where see it's more beneficial for us. And, and the third one is uh, what we also do for now two years and is quite successful because we started right, uh, just recently is our own targeting. And so we invested in a targeting software and uh, we do our own uh, roadshow planning too. Uh, and here we also had the last two years, we did one in Hong Kong um, um, and uh, a second one in the States. And so you have to handle challenges, you have to you have to handle the market environment. And if you always uh, say it's all everything is bad, yeah? you won't be successful. Yeah? 
every risk is an opportunity. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's great to hear that you know you're sort of having a positive experience, uh, you know, and, and and trying new things as a result of Mifid too. But um, yeah, thank you so much for speaking to us. It's been great to speak to you today. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you.